Derwood Arnspringer around here? Mr. Arnspringer? Yeah. He's taking a nap. Why don't you go wake him up and tell him Red Stoball wants to say hello to him? Let's go. Not Red Stovall. I've had occasion to wonder what happened to you, Red. It's been years. Well, I've had occasion to wonder about you, too, Derwood. You should have been done with that hours ago. I got players coming in here soon. So, Red. So, here you are. <coughs> What's happened to you, boy? You don't look like you're doing too well. They working you to death, are they? Oh, I'm doing all right. Got myself a spot on the Opry. Oh, the grand old Opry. By God, that'll put you on top, boy. You see if it don't. I could sure use that hundred dollars you owe me. I'm sorry, Red. I really am. But this depression, you know. How about a drink? I just want my money. Oh, Red, I told you I haven't got it. Well, get it. Well, I can't. You know, I'm disappointed in you, Red. Questioning in my honesty like this. Is that what you're doing? Calling me a liar and a cheat? I'm calling you a liar and a cheat and a fat, porky son of a bitch. You want to hear any more? I got other things I can think up for you. I think I know how we can square it. That girl, one is just in here. I'll tell you what I'll do, Red. I'll give you her and we'll call it even. You mean you'd give me the girl for the hundred you owe me? Yeah. Why don't you talk to her yourself? Marlene, get yourself down here, honey. <laughs>